Okay, we're here at the Go Red for Women event with Dr. Adizani. Okay, hi, Dr. how are you? Fine, and you? Good, thank you. Good. Doctor, tell us what you're doing here. So this is OCT, which is optical coherence tomography. It's a light-based imaging modality with which we can assess uh, intravascular imaging. We can see the, the coronary vessels from inside. Uh, this is the way it works. Uh, basically, there is a catheter. You have to, this catheter goes inside the coronary artery. This is the blood flow that comes here. We have to displace blood in order to achieve a good image. As you can see here, now the catheter is right there. We displace the blood with contrast and we obtain the image it's so fast and the pullback is so fast too. And this is the image that we get. So with this image, we can access, for example, the severity of the coronary lesion. Here we can see a narrowing in the, in the coronary artery. And here, as we go proximal, we can actually see everything on this longitudinal view. We can see a stent implanted in this artery and we can assess uh, how good was our stent implantation. So the stent looks uh, well expanded and well opposed to the vessel wall. As you can clearly see this. So it's a, a way to assess uh, much better uh, the quality of the stent implantation as well as the coronary artery plaques instead of using only angiography. It delivers resolution to 10 microns, which is uh, unprecedented. This is uh, actually the best, the, the highest resolution imaging modality we have available now. It has 10 times higher resolution than intravascular ultrasound, so it makes images much more clear to interpret. Um, that's it. UH was the first uh, hospital in the nation to use it clinically after it was approved by the FDA. Uh, and we are using it on a regular basis uh, on our patients. Every time we need to perform an angioplasty, we need to interrogate a lesion. We use OCT uh, to get uh, better results for our patients. That's it. And you say UH was the first one in the country. How new is this, proce this procedure? I'm uh, sorry? How new? How, uh, how? Well, so it's been used uh, uh, in Europe and in Japan for a while. And, but here in the United States, it was approved in 2010. Uh, and the UH was the first one to use it clinically. Uh, it was, um, it, it, and it's one of the leading institutions in the nation, like in the nation and worldwide. Actually, uh, we, uh, besides our um, our clinically, uh, our patients that we treat clinically, we analyze images from all over the world. These images come, and we perform the analysis, blind analysis, and we send them back, give our opinion of these images. We actually performing this uh, now in carotid arteries as well. And it's uh, and and peripheral arteries as well, so it's uh, it's very nice. It's a very important imaging modality, and for sure, uh, it's going to uh, to be uh, implanted uh, world up. I mean, worldwide. And all. oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's that's wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> sorry, it's I a cardiovascular <laughs> imaging center at UH. Doctor, thank you. Appreciate thank you. your time. My pleasure.